We're here at Clark County Airport where restored World War II era B-17 Flying Fortress will be taking the public and World War II veterans up in the skies for flights this weekend. Let's take a look inside. When you first walk in there, you're going to see a mechanical box. It's really their, it's their auxiliary power unit where they had power on the airplane before you had the engines running. You can start that. You'll see that box. As you work your way forward, you'll notice those two big 50 caliber machine guns that the waste gunners would have used. And they are huge. And you could just imagine 13 of those things firing off at an airplane this size as you're in flight trying to defend yourself from fighter fire. Uh, then it, you work your way forward. There's this uh, our radio room where Lee would have been working there. So you get to check out this radio hatch or this hatch in the radio room that you can kind of stick your head out and, and uh, see the view from there where he had, would, could have had a machine gun there. And uh, at, then as you work your way forward from there, you'll go through the Bombay. In our Bombay, we've got right now four 500-pound replica bombs that are in there. They could have held up to 12 of these 500-pound bombs, but uh, it would depend on the mission length. If they were going very far, then they wouldn't be able to carry 12 of those. They would reduce the bomb load depending on how much fuel they had to carry. So, uh, and as you go forward from the bomb bay, you'll see uh, the cockpit where we would have been. There would also have been a turret in there. The turret gets in the way of being able to walk through there, so our top turret is not really installed. You can see the bubble would be there, but the, uh, the, the turret assembly was huge. A mechanism to be able to rotate around for the turn operator, but it also had ammo boxes, oxygen bottles, all the things that go along with that, and armor plating that uh, made it really tight. So we, ours is not installed in there, so you can come in and spend some time in the cockpit. But what we really want everybody to do, you have to sit down on a step, you go lean forward, and you go up to the Bombardier Navig Navigator Station. There's an amazing view out the nose of a B-17. When you see where the Bombardier would have been looking at, that's a Norton bomb site up there, which was a whole nother story in itself, how uh, amazing a Norton bomb site is. But uh, there is one installed up there, you can check that out and uh, take a, a, a minute or two, get some pictures and all that, but then we're going to try and rotate everybody through so everybody gets a view of that. So just be mindful that there's other people that are going to be following you up. And it's only about room for two or three people at a time before it really gets crowded up there. And so uh, just, it, and it's kind of tight to be able to come back and forth through there. So just give yourself a couple minutes and then rotate through for the next guy to come up and go check out all the other positions.